Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today, my friends at Jaguar of Shreveport have loaned me the freshly refreshed 2021 Jaguar F-Type. And I say refreshed more than restyled because it's not necessarily been a full makeover, but there are some significant changes for the 2021 model year, something we haven't really seen much of since the year 2014, the model year when the F-Type was first introduced by Jaguar. And obviously, while the SUVs in the Jaguar lineup are its best sellers, there's no doubt about the fact that the F-Type holds a very large amount of space within the Jaguar footprint in the automotive world. So today we're gonna to talk about what's new with this particular model, the first edition, and I will save all the information on the other models of the F-Type for future videos because I'm sure I'll be able to get my hands on those when Jaguar of Shreveport has them available, hopefully in the very near future. But while we have the opportunity, let's take a good close look at the first edition and see what's new for the exterior and for the interior. For the keen-eyed observers who watched my video just a few months ago on the 2020 model of the F-Type first edition, very similar to this one, the same exterior color, it won't be that hard to spot the changes. In fact, there are quite a few here on the front end. What are they exactly? Well, let's start with the freshly redesigned headlights. They have a new orientation from vertical to horizontal. You'll also find here on the front end that the grille is larger than it was in the previous model. And you will find that the hood itself has a bit of a different shape from what was on the 2020 and previous year models, in addition to the hood vents being relocated from their previous position. You will also find that the rear tail lights have also been redesigned. Of course, some of the features that don't necessarily need to change, at least not at this point, it would be interesting to see what Jaguar could come with, up with for some of these changes but you will continue to find that the door handles are neatly hidden away until they are needed. And of course, you have the power folding side view mirrors and many safety features. And that's always a good thing to know. I'm listing those on your screen right now so you know exactly what those are. And obviously in a car this size, it's good to know what's going on around you because you're often going to have that one little challenge of the blind spot over your right hand shoulder. Not that that's a terribly bad thing. I've seen it much worse in other sports cars, but it's just always something that's nice to know you have available if you need it when it comes to changing lanes and whatever the case may be. And now we can take a little bit of a closer look at the LED rear tail light. You can see the differences there. And of course, here under the rear hatch, you're going to find 14 cubic feet of cargo space. That hasn't changed from previous model years, but that's not why you would buy this car in the first place. The F-Type isn't really something that people are going to buy because they want to haul a lot of luggage or anything else around. But one thing that I find very interesting here on the F-Type, and I've talked about it in my previous video here on the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel, if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me, and even though there's not a lot, you can necessarily do it yourself if you like to do that on a modern vehicle like this, one thing you can always do is refill your windshield washer fluid. But if you don't know any better, you might open the hood and spend a whole lot of time looking for the cap that'll allow you to fill the reservoir. It's not up there under the hood. It's right here under the rear hatch. That's right, it's all the way in the back here. And once you see it, of course, you're gonna know, oh, there it is. I really wonder how many people would be willing to admit in the comments if you've ever spent time looking for the reservoir to refill your windshield washer fluid on your F-Type before you realized it wasn't up there, it's all the way back here. Now, being that this is the first edition model that we're looking at today, it doesn't have the largest engine available. It makes 575 horsepower. That's the V8, but this is the four cylinder, the two liter four cylinder turbocharged, making 296 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque. It's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. 
And one advantage you're definitely going to find with those numbers is the gas mileage will be somewhat better than it would be with a larger, more powerful engine, obviously. And those numbers are 23 miles per gallon in the city and 30 out on the highway. But that doesn't mean you can't have a really good time with this model of F-Type. Okay guys, as you take a look around the interior of the 2021 F-Type, you might say, I don't really see tremendous differences but they are here. In fact, there are quite a few differences here. I'll show you what I did in my previous video to make that really easy to see. But the one area that I really wanna focus in on is the instrument cluster. You're definitely going to see a lot of differences there. And of course, as is the case, it's fully customizable. Depending on how you want it to look, you can change the look basically of what the speedometer looks like, the tachometer, you can completely change the overall image of the dashboard. So that's a really nice option there. And of course, you do have the typical racy steering wheel. It feels good, leather wrapped, steering wheel mounted controls that of course you're going to use to control everything you're used to there, answering and hanging up on phone calls, all that different functionality. And of course, everything continues here with the infotainment screen. You've got your climate control here, the push button start for the engine. And I do have to say, I really like the racy look of the shifter. I know this is available in other models of the Jaguars, it even looks similar to some of what I've seen with some of the Land Rovers, but obviously there are some very nice features there. And now right here behind, you're going to find some features you can turn on or off. And the one that I think I like to turn off the most is the auto stop start feature. So that way when I come to a complete stop, the engine keeps running. And if you ever forget to do that, it's not a problem to figure it out. And of course, like I said earlier, you don't have necessarily a tremendous amount of space here. You do have a couple of USB ports right here and a 12 volt power outlet that are located inside the console. Not a ton of space there, but like I said earlier, that isn't the idea of the F-Type. A little bit more space here right between the seats. You might be able to stick your phone there or something like that. That actually would be an ideal spot for that. You do have a couple of cup holders here and obviously just some very nice, comfortable seats. And that is one thing I really like about the F-Type, being that I'm a former race car driver. I like driving fast, taking corners pretty fast. And when you're sitting in these seats, in the F-Type, very solid bolstering, quite a large amount there. So you're definitely going to stay in place and so is your passenger. And of course, right here, if your passenger needs something to grab onto, well, that's what this is. That's not just decorative, that's kind of that oh crap handle right there for those who find out, as I like to always say, that there is no such thing as a car that is not faster from the passenger seat. Okay guys, this is something I didn't get to do when I had the video with the 2020 F-Type. I could not get my tripod to mount properly to film a test drive, but today we get to do that. And I've actually, for those of you who watch me regularly and wonder about that issue, it has to do with whether or not the seat is power or manually adjustable. When it's manually adjustable, I just can't get the tripod to stay in place for some reason. So anyway, here we are cruising down the road, having a good time. Obviously the handling of the F-Type, well, it's like a go-kart. It really handles well. And even though this is obviously not the most powerful F-Type you could pick up, 296 horsepower, it's, it'll get up and go. But even with the two liter four cylinder, it does sound good. And of course, I really enjoy the look of the instrument cluster while I'm driving. It just kind of just makes it a lot more fun for whatever reason. Just kind of gives it that more sporty and, and fast feel to it. And so, yeah, there is, there is some road noise, obviously, but you know, this is meant to really be a somewhat, you know, pretty high performance vehicle that is a lot of fun to drive. And so all of that is kind of part of the experience. And so I'm kind of getting into it a little bit more. And of course I can use the shifter paddles. This little car hugs the road nicely. And the visibility out of the windshield as far as, as seeing a long ways is good. The one thing I've noticed is that where I'm sitting 
in my seat where the seat position is, if I don't sit far enough back if I'm first in line at a red light, it's a little hard to see. So just something I kind of picked up on and learned. And that little corner right there, boy, it, it really handled it well. The ride is a little stiff, but it's not bad. It's not real uncomfortable or anything like that. It's not something that, that you're not going to enjoy, I don't think. I mean, I can't imagine somebody using an F-Type like this as their daily driver, but tell me in the comments if you do, because, you know, it could be done. It just, I think it would be a little challenging. But, you know, I always interesting to hear your feedback, guys, as to what, what you do with your vehicles. And so here we go into my favorite corner to really test out the handling characteristics of a vehicle. And, oh my goodness, that is awesome. The shifter paddles seem to not be instantly responsive, but not too bad, not too much of a lag between pulling the shifter paddle and actually feeling the transmission shift gears. But I'll tell you what, anytime you can use the shifter paddles in a car like this, it just, it just really makes a difference in how much fun it is to drive. And if you've ever driven, say, for instance, a Tesla or any electric vehicle, something that's super fast, uh, maybe a Porsche Taycan, it's fun, you know you're moving at a very high rate of speed when you're, when you're cruising down the road, but the one thing that I will say is that without the sound of the engine, it definitely takes away from the experience. I guess there's certain chemicals in your brain that just don't flow when you don't have the sound of the engine, I don't know. A little downshift there to see see what that sounds like so let's have a little more fun here yeah even even with the two-cylinder engine this is such a fun little car to drive I mean it doesn't just plaster you back in the seat but you definitely get the feeling of acceleration and I do hear a little bit of downshift crackle coming from the exhaust behind us here. I uh, don't know if you can hear that on the video. It's not very pronounced uh, for whatever reason, but it is what it is. I know that I talked to somebody who has driven the 575 horsepower model and said it will definitely let out some good exhaust crackles when you're driving it. But, you know, if you're looking for a vehicle that's just not, it's not a six-figure price tag, it's $75,000. I think this particular model is $75,995, at least that's what was on the sticker on the window, I believe. It's not ultra expensive, really, in this day and age but it's something you can have a lot of fun with. It looks good. I really like the styling changes that Jaguar has made. And when you, when you have, want to have a little bit of fun and go fast, you know, kind of have a little bit of an acceleration experience, well, this will definitely do it for you. But I'll tell you what, I'm definitely looking forward to Jaguar of Shreveport getting some additional models in that have a little more horsepower so we can see how they handle, how they drive, how they accelerate. And look at that. I'm all of a sudden outdoors in the heat here in Louisiana. But per the instructions of my friend Joe Rady over at Rady's Rides, I'm getting my vitamin D. So I'm curious to get your feedback, friends. What do you think about the changes to the 2021 F-Type? Is it something you plan to buy? Do you already have one? What model do you want if you plan to buy one of these? I'm always curious to hear about what you're doing and what your plans are. And as always, guys, let me know what you want to see me feature here on the Vehicle Visionary YouTube channel in my next video. I always appreciate my friends at Jaguar of Shreveport for loaning me any vehicle they do for the day. A lot of fun to drive these cars and the SUVs and whatever it may be. Jaguar makes some really fun vehicles. And of course, I appreciate each and every one of you who are kind enough to take the time to watch my videos. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a great day.